All right, I'm here with a brand new pickup video going over some of the stuff I've got recently. Um, Memorial Day at the flea market, a little bit late for that, I, I realize, but um, so, some good finds there, um, as well as some good trade credit stuff, a lot of really good trade credit stuff, and a Dreamcast game I snapped up. Usually I don't get stuff on eBay, but snapped it up on eBay just because. So let's jump into that now with the flea market finds. Memorial Day weekend at the flea market. Um, not as good as the Saturday that you would have seen in the last uh, pickup video. My Probably my biggest day of all time at the flea market. But still a solid day. Definitely better than pretty much most days I was having in the past. Uh, I might be spoke, speaking too soon, but the flea market might actually be kind of good this year. Something to keep my eye on, at, at least. Uh, it's been way bigger than it ever has been. And uh, been getting good stuff. So first thing I got out there um, was this sealed... Skylanders, Skylanders Swap Force, brand new sealed 3DS. Uh, I've sold these in the past, sealed for you know around 70 ish bucks or so. This was at 10, so good deal there. Probably will be a slow seller, but um, you know, it's very little work. So, uh, MLB The Show 16, be on the lookout for MLB The Show 16. Uh, this is the last one on PS3, so it goes for around 20 ish bucks. Got it for two, um, good deal there as well. Um, I got this for the collection. I actually didn't have the outer box for Wii Sports Resort. This is just the empty outer box, but I have all the stuff that you put in there. Um, so yeah, they, they, I just found a guy with a random tub of game stuff, and this was in there, and I was like, well, the game's not in here. What do you want for it? And he said three bucks. So got that for three bucks. Uh, just nice to have like the outer box. I was stupid as a kid, and I threw it away um, whenever that game came out. So glad to have that back. Other than that, uh, some Xbox games. At the same booth as the MLB, I got uh, Gears 4, which I don't think I had. Um, I didn't have very good reception, but it was 5 bucks. I have Gears 1 through 3, um, so I figured I would just pick up 4, complete the... Uh, well, there's a Gears 5, isn't there? Um, this is, I don't get... Tangent, I don't get... the Gears of War 1 through 4, and then there's Gears 5, so... Uh, kind of weird, but whatever. And then at another booth, I bundled these up. The total went to 18 I got it for 15 I got um, Overcooked on Xbox Series X. Probably just keep this one for myself. Uh, I liked Overcooked. I played um, Overcooked 2 on Switch, and this is like a combination of all of them. Weird that it's only Series X and not like Xbox One, too, but okay. So that was, you know, 10 plus whatever I got this deal. Another one I'm keeping for myself, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Um, I, I tried the first Deus Ex, I just, like a long time ago. Well, the first of the, you know, the newer series uh, since Square Enix took over, but now they're not, <laughs> took over again anymore. They're not, have anything to do with uh, Deus Ex now. Um, and I didn't I didn't really get it when I played it, but I've heard good things and I'd like to go back. I also was maybe oh, 15 when I tried playing the first, it was right, right, right around the, when it came out, uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution I tried playing. So it might be something I'd enjoy now. The other one I got, this is just kind of an interesting game. I know it's not great. It's an interesting concept. I just know the game didn't turn out great. The Obsidian RPG Alpha Protocol, um, published by Sega. Um, I don't know. I just think the concept is interesting. And that was only 3 bucks, so I figured it'd be cool to add to the collection. Maybe one to check out at some point. Uh, so got that little bundle for $15. bucks. Um, can not complain about that. And then other than that, I always need PS2 controllers. This guy out there had couple ps2 controllers um one was marked at two bucks and it was like shattered it was like destroyed and then another one was in pretty decent shape just a little bit dirty it didn't have a price so i just said hey is this one two bucks too guy didn't even really seem to even know he had it so he said yeah um this is pretty messed up pretty dirty at least but i looked the two things i look for when buying ps2 controllers ps2 controllers are probably like the most finicky controllers they're really fragile um so i don't always you know go for them unless they're cheap uh, but two things I look for is to have a rattle, which this does not. So it's probably going to be good. You, a lot of times when you drop one of these, like the buttons will just stop working or the sticks or something inside will just mess up. And then to see if the sticks have the rubber pads on them. See if the, I guess the third thing would be to see if the um, triggers aren't sticking. Um, so, yeah. Uh, not bad for two bucks. I have been needing some. I'm starting to run low on good PS2 controllers. So um, good to get that there. But yeah, good day over the flea market, over at the flea market overall. So, um, I'm gonna keep going until 
it starts getting bad. Usually maybe about July ish, it starts to get just pretty crap, but maybe it won't this year. I don't know. We'll have to see. So I loaded up my trunk um, and I really actually did fill up my trunk and headed over to the Stone Age Gamer store. I probably get, are mostly familiar with Stone Age Gamer. Um, huge online retailer but they have a physical store if you're in ohio i would definitely check it out it's a really cool store the guys there are really nice uh good people there um it's in salem ohio which is kind of <laughs> it's kind of in the middle of nowhere uh they're building the town up a little bit more but it's it's kind of out there but if you're ever able to go i'd highly recommend it it's a great store um but they've been closed for like two years so what i end up doing is i trade a lot of my stuff out to my local game chain um, and get, you know, all right trade credit, but they're pretty picky with what they take. So they don't take everything, but the Stone Age Gamer, they take everything. And I mean everything. I gave them empty cases for stuff. I gave them broken systems. And I don't know how much I get for this stuff, but I don't care. I just want it gone. Um, so I took them a full trunk of, of just my random extras and stuff I didn't want and got $420 in trade credit, which I was really happy with. Kind of just went to town on getting stuff then. Um, they had a lot of great stuff. They had a lot of, like excellent ps1 games but unfortunately a lot of them were missing manual um which was a shame but I was able to walk out with some good stuff um i also got some stuff i needed for ebay um some power adapters and video cables so i'm not going to show that stuff but um one of the higher end ones they had an at for 95 bucks hoshigami um i had never seen this game before it's published by atlas i was looking into this one looks pretty cool uh 2001 release so you know well after the ps2 was at uh, but looks like a pretty interesting like strategy rpg um glad to have that one in the collection looks cool and i don't know that's what's so fun about this is when i get this trade credit i'm like i'm spending this stuff on whatever's in the store they have cool stuff in the store always uh, i'm like you know what i'm spending this stuff on whatever is in the store um and i come away with some stuff i need some stuff i've never seen some interesting stuff so it's always a fun time and when I say I have nothing into the trade credit stuff because everything, you know, has been sold or whatever, I mean it. So, um, it's essentially free games for me. Uh, I got this one. This was one I've been looking for for a while. They had it marked at 12, which is a good deal. Uh, Martian Gothic. If you don't know this one, it's like a kind of a Resident Evil clone. Uh, I've heard it's interesting. I heard it's a little bit, you know, not great, but I've heard it's at least interesting. So, I wanted to check that one out. I saw a video on that one not too long ago. This is one surprising. I've been looking for this forever. I never find this one. I think I'm going to stream this game. I feel like more people just need to see this game. Um, this game is awesome. Uh, Incredible Crisis. I'm so glad to have this one in the collection. I'm going to stream this one, I think, sometime soon. Uh, because I feel like more people just need to witness this game. Um, just That's all I can really say. Uh, very strange game. I got a Saturn game. I don't have hardly any Saturn games. And this one was at 60, um, but so, round retail. But I don't have, like, any Saturn games. Um, and I know this was a pretty well-liked uh, platformer. Croc. Um, so, we'll have to boot up the Saturn and give this one a go. Um, I've never played Croc, actually. Not that I remember, at least. So, yeah, I just don't have any Saturn stuff, so I might as well. Uh, Wii U game that I didn't have. Going for the full set. Um, so, this one was complete, as complete as Wii U games get, Fast and Furious Showdown. I had this one in the past, I got it in a bundle, but I sold it off before I was doing complete, um, Wii U, so, had to get it back. This was cool, um, box and manual only, but, uh, South Park Rally box and manual only, I have the cart for this, so, 30 bucks for box and manual on that, uh, good deal. We'll complete my copy. Um, another one, I, I bought the game because I have the box and manual for it. Now I can complete it. Uh, Wizardry for NES. So it has some stickers on it. I'll have to get off. But that was at 16. And then a couple N64 games I didn't have. Um, I think I'm now less than 20 games away from the entire set. So that's really exciting. Um, just some weird ones. It's like, why don't I have this already? Uh, Iggy, Iggy, I don't know why I can't say it. Iggy's Wrecking Balls. Yes. Iggy's Wrecking Balls. Yes. And then also uh, the classic treasure game, uh, Mischief Makers, which is another one I'm surprised I didn't have. It's just 
these are both maybe a little bit under retail, good prices on them. So cool. Um, and that's all I got game wise. Like I said, I got a stack of uh, discs resurfaced, which were those are three bucks each, which is a good deal. They have a great resurfacer machine, um, and mine is dead. Mine is gone and dead. Um, so that was good to get. And then I got some bit like some uh, third party adapters. Oh, I almost missed one. This was in the other bag. Uh, this is another game I've been wanting for a while. I never see it, so I just decided to grab it. Po Conquer's Pocket Tales, Conquer's Bedford is one of my <laughs> favorite N64 games. This was still when Conquer was E-rated, but I've never played this one. I've never seen gameplay of this one, so I'm interested to check this one out. Um, almost forgot that because it was in the other bag. But yeah, I got some aftermarket uh, GameCube power adapters for some systems I got that I could sell on eBay. Um, so all in all, good trip out to Stone Age Gamer. Um, they were closed for like two years um, for COVID and just focusing on online stuff. But the storefront's now back open. Hours are Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 1 to 5. Um, definitely check the store out if you can. It's great. Um, but that is all for that trip. Anyways, continuing on the trade credit stuff, um, I got, first I got this, Tom and Jerry, um, on N64 complete in box. Um, I forget their price on this, 150 I think. This is pretty uncommon to find game in general, but the box, and manual, I've never seen it before. I got it in the box protector already. Um, so obviously got that in trade credit. The garage sales have been treating me nicely with the trade credit lately. Um, you know, I've been saying on the garage sale videos, I've been doing really well out there, but not a whole lot of stuff for the collection, but got to remember that's why I do it. So I can get some trade credit on, on, uh, the low end stuff to put towards good stuff like this. Um, so that store had that, uh, that was, if anyone saw the most recent, um, garage sale videos, that was where I was waiting at that store to get this next thing. They had this game as well, but I didn't have enough credit, but I did have a bin of stuff that I could take in. So I knew I was close. They had this at 200. I was able to get the trade credit I needed to acquire this. And I got Earthworm Jim 3 as well, um, complete in box, which is another pretty uncommon game as it is and pretty hard to find complete in box. <laughs> so they had this at 200, um, bought it all with trade credit as well as the Tom and Jerry. So um, doing really well with the box down 64 set. Uh, I have a, you know, a good portion of them in the box and I don't know. I just find it Look how it's just fun. I don't know. It's just fun. One of my favorite collections to do. So, um, I'm not, you know, I am going for the full N64 set. I already did have Tom and Jerry. I did not have Earthworm Jim 3. So that's a new one completely. Um, but I'm, you know, not intending to get the entire N64 collection in, uh, in box. I'd like to get as many as I can, but some of them, they're just, it's just unreasonable, <laughs> but um, good, uh, good two, uh, acquisitions there to grab. Um, other than that, in, uh, I think I have about 20 games left on N64. Um, so closing the gap pretty nicely. Um, but with my other collection, I'm going for the full set of Dreamcast. I got one on eBay. I, I try not to get stuff on eBay because I think it ruins the fun of finding stuff in the wild. But this is a game I've never seen before. Not once. And there was only one copy of it on eBay. So I bought the one copy on eBay. And it's not the most exciting game. But um, I just looked right now and there's only one copy and it's brand new on eBay. So this one must be really rare. Um, but F1 World Grand Prix. It's not too expensive. I paid 20 for mine. Um, not too expensive because I'm just going to imagine the demand probably is not there for something like this. But this might be one of the rarest Dreamcast games. Um, the North American version, at least. There's plenty of Japanese and European copies of it on eBay, but the North American version of that game might be one of the rarest um, Dreamcast games because it's probably the only Dreamcast game I have never seen at a store or at a convention or anywhere. Um, and only one on eBay and very few sold listings uh, is pretty crazy. So glad to grab that one as well. But that'll be all for this pickup video today. Um, hope you enjoyed. I wanted to get this one out before Memorial Day became way too far past. Um, and I had some other good stuff there too with the trade credit stuff and all that. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Make sure to check out the garage sale pickups videos. If you're wondering where um, garage sale pickups went, I, they have their own videos now. I go out live looking for them and then I, I kind of show my footage out there at the garage sales and then I come back and do the pickup recap for each day I go out. So that is where the garage sale pickups are. If you haven't checked those videos out, there is a playlist, and um, they're on the channel as well. 
And other than that, uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, follow me on Twitter at Objo Gaming. Comment down below with what you've been picking up lately. And until next time, I would like to thank you for watching.